Hello everyone and welcome back to EV Texan. In today's video, I'll be covering how to replace the charging cable on a Voltec EVSE. So let's get into it. The tools that we're going to need to complete this easy repair are a Phillips head screwdriver, a small flat blade screwdriver, a small T15 Torx driver, a 15 or 16 amp charging cable. If your charging cable does not have a pre-stripped end, you'll also need a pair of strippers and scissors. Before continuing, please note that you'll be working with live electricity, so please do not attempt this repair if you are not qualified to do so. I am not responsible if you injure yourself or your property by following these instructions. Now that that's out of the way, to begin, you'll need to cut power to your EVSE. Flip the corresponding breaker or unplug the unit if it is pigtailed. Never work on any electrical equipment without turning the power off. Next, unscrew the six T15 Torx bolts around the inner lip of the cover. Gently remove the top cover and unplug the front connector from the main board. Below the board on the right, you'll see five plastic terminals with wires attached. Those wires are the connections to the charging cable that we're going to be replacing. Using your flat blade screwdriver, unscrew the connectors on the right side and gently pull each wire out of the plastic terminal. Next, unscrew the two screws at the bottom of the EVSE where the cable enters the body of the unit and remove the plastic bracket. Lift up the cable and remove it from the body of the EVSE. Slide the rubber grommet off the end of the old cable and put it onto the new cable. Prepare the new cable by removing about 8 inches of jacket and stripping about a half inch of insulation from each of the four wires. Seat the rubber grommet in the plastic bracket in the orientation as shown. Replace the bracket and screw it back into place. Give the new cable a gentle tug to ensure it is securely seated. From left to right, attach the cables in the following order. Orange to black purple, nothing to gray purple, black to black, red to red, green yellow to green. Just a quick note here, if you're using the Leviton connector and have a blue wire, this wire will be unused. Be sure to cap it, tape it, or otherwise ensure it won't come into contact with anything inside the EVSE. Reattach the front cover connector to the board and replace the cover. Attach the cover to the base with the six T15 screws again. Flip the circuit breaker on or plug the unit back in. Both lights on the front should now be illuminated green. And there you have it. With some basic tools and a relatively cheap replacement part, you've saved yourself from having to purchase a whole new EVSE. If you enjoyed the video and found it to be helpful, be sure to like or subscribe. Also, I'll be doing a deeper dive about this Voltec, including efficiency tests and how long it would take to charge a Tesla in future videos, so be sure to check back. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.